Hello and welcome to my studio space. Um, usually I'm painting here, so that's why there is a paint covered black plastic bag covering the work surface. Today we're going to talk about rendering a set. Now rendering really just means drawing. Um, and it has very little to do with actual design, but you have to know how to put your ideas on paper for your technical director, your carpenters, your builders, your scene painters to be able to understand so that they can make your set a reality. The way you do that is through drawing it out and making model boxes. Now, we'll make a model box later, but right now we're focusing on just drawing out our set design. Before we can draw out our set design, we have to be able to draw our stage. You have to know what stage you're working with before you can design on it. Um, there are several different kinds of stages and different kinds of sets work well for each one, but you wouldn't put one type of set on another stage. For example, there is a thing called an arena stage or theater in the round. And that's where the stage sits in the center and the audience sits all the way around it, 365 degrees. Now, you couldn't design a set with a lot of walls because then one half of the audience member cannot see past your wall to know what's happening on the other side. Likewise, if you design a set for a proscenium stage, which is what we're going to do, the audience is only on one side of the stage. So if you design anything on the back side or out in the wings, the audience will not be able to see it. So we're designing for a proscenium stage. Now, if you've been to the Aztec High School Auditorium, also the cafeteria, which is why it's called a multi-purpose building, um, because it serves a lot of purposes, you will see our stage. Our stage is a proscenium stage, and that's what we're doing here today. A proscenium stage is literally, if you have a wall, and you cut a square or rectangular hole out of that wall so that the audience who's sitting on one side can see through it. That's a proscenium stage. All the action happens on this side of the wall, but the audience can see it because there's a hole. There's a proscenium and a proscenium arch. The proscenium arch is literally just the sides and top of that hole that has been cut into the wall. Now, sometimes, just like with our stage, there's a little bit of the stage floor that comes out towards the audience from the proscenium arch. That's called an apron. And we're also going to draw an apron for our stage. Now, we could do this to scale. And I was thinking that that's what we were going to do, but then I was like, well, this is a beginning design project. We won't go to scale. But if we were going to go to scale, we would use this handy dandy ruler. And for every half inch would equal a foot. So if we drew a five inch line, um, a five inch tall door, that would actually be a 10 foot tall door, right? But we're not gonna worry about that right now. We are, however, going to use our rulers so that we can make straight lines. I have a mechanical pencil. You can use a regular pencil or a mechanical, it doesn't matter, as long as there's a drawing end and an erasing end. Both of these ends are very important. You have a pencil with both of these ends and they work well, you're good to go. I also have this handy dandy ruler, which is called a triangle ruler, but we use it for making squares normally. See, this angle right here is 90 degrees, meaning it is perfectly sideways and up um, so that we can make really nice squares or rectangles. These two angles right here are both 45 degrees. We don't use them a whole lot right now, but we will be using this corner. Now, if you don't have this ruler, perfectly fine. No worries. You can use the edge of a piece of paper. You can use the edge of a notebook. Anything that has a 90 degree angle on it, you can use and it will be fine. I like using these and both of them are see-through so I can see the lines that I draw underneath of them. So I don't have to move my ruler around and try to find where my line is. I can literally see it under my ruler. So that's why I like these to be clear if you don't have a clear ruler, don't worry about it. It won't hurt you in the long run. My piece of paper is huge. It's actually, I think, 
it is, let's see, 18, 12, I think. Let's see, 18 by 12. It's an 18 by 12 piece of paper. Now, you probably don't have an 18 by 12 piece of paper, and that's fine. But I will tell you that bigger is better, especially when you're starting out. And that's because uh, angles are bigger. You don't have to be as exacting. Um, little tiny details are hard to draw. If you can draw them bigger, then the details become bigger. They're not so hard to draw. So bigger is better. If you only have an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, that's okay. It's just going to be harder to do it on. If you do have an 8.5, and, a half and an, if you have two 8.5 by 11 pieces of paper, I highly suggest taping them together to make a larger piece of paper. Um, but that's just me. So the first thing I'm going to do, because this video is getting a little long, is I want to find the center of my paper so I can center my stage on the paper. And to do that, I'm just going to fold it in half, perfectly in half. And I'm going to make just a tiny little crease right down here at this bottom edge and a tiny little crease right here on the top edge. I don't want to put my crease all the way down the side of my paper because then it'll put a crease in the middle of my stage. And I don't really want a crease in the middle of my stage. But I do want this line that I can draw. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to line it up with the top and bottom creases that I just made. Let me make a little line so that they're easier to see. And I'm going to draw it very lightly. You probably won't even be able to see this. A line down the center of my paper. And that just tells me where center stage is. Right? It cuts my stage in half. What I'm going to do now is draw my stage floor. So I'm going to measure up. I'm going to do it at one and a half inches. You just need a goodly amount of space between the bottom of your stage and the bottom of your paper so that you can do an apron. So I'm going to do an inch and a half. And I'm going to... Draw a line here, and draw a line here, and then connect the two with a light line, because I'm going to erase a bunch of this line, I think. So a nice light line across the bottom. And so this is my stage floor. But I need to know exactly how wide I want my stage floor. I'm going to do it at 10 inches. So that would be 5 inches to either side of my center line. So I'm going to put my five inch mark right on my center line and make a little indication there at the 10 inch mark. So there's five inches here from five to 10 and make a little line over here at my zero inch mark because zero to five is five. So there's five inches on either side of that center line, which makes it 10 inches. I'm now gonna take and make that line pretty dark. Uh, mainly for you to see it. Um, I'm going to erase it later. We're going to need to erase these later. So if you don't want to make yours really dark, that's fine. But I mean mine really dark just so you can see. And hopefully you can. I'm then going to take this lovely little uh, corner ruler. I'm going to line up the bottom perfectly with that line I just made and line up this side with that little mark that I made indicating the 10 inches. And I'm going to use that to draw my side of the proscenium right there. And I'm going to do the same thing to this side. I'm going to line up the bottom with that bottom mark I made and draw my line. I'm going to make this a 20 by 20 foot proscenium, meaning 20 foot wide, 20 foot high. Um, well, in this case, it's just inches. I'm still doing, um, I'm still doing scale in my head. It would be half inch scale, but you don't need to worry about that. Just make it 10 inches. Or if you don't have a, a big piece of paper like this, um, make it however many inches you want. Um, but just make sure that it is nice and square. Like I said, bigger is better. So keep that in mind. So I'm just measuring up 10 inches on either side and extending that line I drew. 
and I'm going to make the top of my proscenium just by connecting the tops of both of those 10 inch lines. And I'm making this really dark, again, mainly so you can see it. Great. So I now have my proscenium, my big square right there, my proscenium arch. I have the walls of my proscenium arch, and I have the top of my proscenium arch, and I have my stage floor. Now I need to make my apron. I'm going to come out, and I'm going to come like a quarter of an inch away from the bottom of my paper. Um, you do it however long you want um, for this project. Um, but for right now, quarter of an inch, totally acceptable, at least for me. I need to get my inches right. There we go. I'm going to do a light line. I'm just going to measure away from here and see if I've done this correctly. Because it doesn't really look very correct. And it is not. But I think that has to do more with this line than that one. Oh, I see what I did there. I know exactly what I did. So my ruler, the zero line isn't actually on the very edge of my ruler. It's in like an eighth of an inch. So I did go to the zero line on this side but I went to the edge of my ruler on this side, so there is a little bit of a slant to my floor, which means everything is a little, little slanted. It would be better if it wasn't like that, but you know what? I'm not going to fret about it too much right now. So instead of being able to measure from the bottom of my paper, though, for my apron, I'm going to have to measure from... Uh, my floor of my stage. So I'm going to come and I'm going to make it mm, one, two, three, mm, like basically an inch and a half from this corner and an inch and a half from that corner. Not a half, lies, an inch and a quarter. Sorry. Do you ever like say things and in your head you say them correctly and then they come out and they're like not correct? Yeah. So I'm going to draw a very light line because I'm going to erase most of it all the way across. <clears throat> I want my apron to be about half the size of my floor. So this was 10 inches across. I'm going to make my apron 5 inches across. What's 5 divided by 2? 2.5. So I'm going to put the two and a half inch mark right at center stage and making a little line at my zero mark and a little line at my five mark it is now five inches across and perfectly centered. And I will make that line nice and thick and dark so you can see it. Okay. And then I'm going to erase all of the original line that I don't need. There we go. Now a lot of uh, per, a lot of aprons are rounded, but we're going to be lazy with this one, and we're just going to make it with sharp corners. So I'm going to go from the corner of where my stage floor meets my proscenium wall, and draw a line to that side of my proscenium arch. And draw the same from that corner to that line of my proscenium arch. And now I have a proscenium arch with a um, stage apron attached, which is this little bit right here. The next thing I need is the back of my stage or the back of my, my stage floor, which is the back wall, right? This hole can't go on forever. There has to be an end. So.